We have just been teased as to what is coming within update 5 for Forza Motorsport. That update comes out in February, so it's only a few weeks away, and it is confirmed that the Nürburgring Nordschleife is going to be the new track coming in February. That's really good to hear. We've also been given a little bit of an update as to what bugs and fixes we can expect. We know that they are working on three very major changes and tweaks to the game. On car progression, AI and Forza race regulations, they are still hard at work making sure that these are tweaked to the community's liking. And just in general, hammering it with loads of bugs and fixes. Now, we'll start with the Nürburgring news, obviously. This is how they announced it. You might remember that back in August of this past year, Turn 10 announced that the Nürburgring GP circuit would be part of the game at launch and the famed Nordschleife will be coming in spring 2024. It's not spring just yet, but the team is excited to reveal that the Nordschleife was completed ahead of schedule and will be part of the free update headed your way in just a few weeks. The Nordschleife is a testament to racing history a racetrack with a notorious reputation. At over 20 kilometers long, with an elevation of nearly 300 meters and many daunting twists, challenging turns, steep climbs and long straights, it demands everything from drivers. Legends have been born here, while many have suffered tough defeats. The Nordschleife is the benchmark for cars and performance. Manufacturers invite their most skilled drivers here to show the world just how fast their newest cars really are. This iconic track pushes the boundaries of car development. It's where manufacturers test new features for their cars, tweak suspension models, and unlock the full capabilities of their engines. And when a new car succeeds in breaking a lap record at the Nordschleife, such as the groundbreaking Mercedes AMG One in 2022, it makes headlines all over the world. We can't wait for you to experience this adrenaline fueled crucible. Additionally, earlier this week, the team shared a few of the improvements coming to Forza Motorsport alongside the Nordschleife in Update 5, including fixes to the replay system, as well as improvements to overall stability and PC optimization. Head over to Forza.net to see a preview of some of the changes coming to the game and expect a full list of fixes for Update 5 to be shared in February. It's fantastic to hear that it's finally coming. February is a lot earlier than I expected to receive it and part of me thinks that it wasn't actually originally planned for February and they've brought it forward you know, to maybe keep the game going a little bit. We can see that the player count is struggling just a wee bit. Now we got a blog post today as well which detailed the bugs and fixes that they are trying to focus on mainly for update 5 as well. Let's have a read through that. So, starting off at the top. Now, in January, they shared with us the status update on them. Three key areas that I just spoke about. AI, uh, Forza Race Regulations and Car Progression. Well, let's see what they have to say about those three topics. Car Progression. They have begun collecting feedback from various sources on changes that will give players freedom to equip the parts they need regardless of car level. That sounds like a big change. We haven't got information on the exact ins and outs and how that will work just yet, but it does sound like they're making pretty big changes to that car progression system. They have additional changes as well that are in various different states of design and testing um, with plans to implement them as soon as possible. So there is some kind of revamp happening to the car progression system, which may allow players to equip any part they need whenever they need it. Forza Race Regulations. Now, they have enabled race marshals and some content creators have the ability to flag in-game incidents for review to help feed changes to the developers so they can make changes to the system appropriately. So that's good. Flagging issues the second they see them so they can really have a first-hand view with the developers on what needs changing and how it needs changing. So that's great to hear as well. Lastly, they are testing out fixes to the driver to AI to alleviate competitors bunching up at the first corner and also the issue where the first few AI opponents, the ones in front, reach you know they all they're always quite far ahead compared to everyone else you know they have a really big lead so they're tinkering with that as well so that's what they have to say about the three main key areas so far there's obviously a lot more to it than that we will find out in a few weeks when they tell us everything that's in update 5 properly exactly how they've changed everything but this is just a preview for now they have three distinct teams here working on each thing so there's a t it seems like there's a team working on car progression a team working on ai and a team working 
improving or foot to race regulations. Along with that, they're also developing fixes and improvements to other areas of the game, which will also roll out in update five, which will include a skip practice option, option um, in the career mode pre-race menu to make it more discoverable and a save point after the practice session so you can complete the race later. They're doing fixes and quality of life improvements to livery editor based on reports that we have shared with them including custom advanced zoom for applying decals, the ability to paint upgraded paint calipers, and a prompt to save your design when exiting the livery editor. Some fantastic improvements there. Really excited to see which ones make it to update five and how exactly they've done it. Now the bugs and fixes. There's a pretty big list. If these fixes do make it into update five, which it seems like they will, it could be a game changer. Let's start with stability. Stability has four different fixes there. I'm not going to read through them all. Photo mode and replays. There are two fixes there. Gameplay. There's a ton of gameplay fixes. This is page one. This is page two. If you need to read them, just make sure you pause and read it. This is page three. That's it for gameplay. Livery editor. There's quite a few here, so I'm, I'm glad to see that. I know lots of people are having issues with the livery editor, so those are all the things they're tinkering with for that. PC improvements can be seen here. Wheels and graphics improvements can be seen here. AI cars and tracks can be seen here. Accessibility changes can be seen here. And then a second page of accessibility pages there. That is everything that they have noticed on this blog post that they are targeting towards update five. This isn't a, this isn't a final list, so there might actually be a lot more than this. We have to give credit where credit's due. They are really trying their hardest to get this game polished. And I think update five is going to be the biggest update we've had so far. 100%. Awesome stuff to hear. Now, when we get these updates, make sure that you are one of the people that actually contribute to giving your feedback of what you thought about the update. Whether you're a veteran player, even just a casual player, even if you actually like the game and don't have any issues with it, provide the feedback because it helps play it helps turn 10 make the right decisions so if you see a tweet like this make sure you contribute and give your feedback so we know the Nürburgring Nordschleife is coming we know they're fixing a load of stuff let's have a little bit of a see what cars might be coming with an update 5 as we can actually make some pretty damn good guesses based off the evidence we have now the car pass list was leaked months ago I'm sure you remember that these are the four cars that would add up perfectly for coming in update five we've got the Cadillac the Ford breathless pro racing TA Mustang the Audi TT RS and the McMurty Spearling it's worth noting though the four cars that we expected to come in update four from these leaks were only slightly correct. One of the cars didn't end up coming and they actually ended up swapping. So it's not 100% guaranteed anymore that this list is accurate, but so far it's been there. So if I was to guess what four car pass cars are coming, it would be those four there, the, um, the ones that are highlighted on screen. Hopefully we see them because I really want to drive that McMurty on the 7th of March. Let me know in the comment section below if you're looking forward to this update and what you really hope is coming car-wise. I'll see you all later.